Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, we'll discuss about evil twin attacks. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your love and support and uh, our channel has been doing really good. And also guys, if you are having any doubts, make sure you check out my discord. So that is the best place to get your doubts resolved uh, rather than YouTube comment section. And also guys, if you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my LinkedIn as well as Twitter accounts, which are in the description below. So guys, uh, if you had observed the last uh, previous parts of this particular series on Wi-Fi pen testing, like we had covered regarding some Wi-Fi adapter to choose as well as some uh, a traditional way for doing a Wi-Fi pen testing or Wi-Fi attack, right? So sometimes th and the problem with the previous thing is so the problems are uh, we can't crack hash all the time right that is that is an important issue there okay like uh, if you take previous take we'll capture the handshake which c consists of the hash and we can't crack the hash all the time okay uh, even though you have a strongest gpu available or the most powerful gpu available it might not be possible if the user uses or if the admin of the particular network uses some strong password right so then here uh, there is some cheat thing and this is something new uh, called as evil twin attacks so first of all the steps are really simple guys i'll mention them so first of all what happens is so this uh, attack uh, in this attack or uh, what happens uh, what will happen is so first of all so firstly what happens is uh, it captures handshake through the uh, through the traditional way it captures the handshake uh, which consists of hash and then what happens here is so what it tries to do is it creates a fake access point like uh, let us think that i'm targeting uh, what you call uh, this particular thing like uh, a wi-fi access point named as satvik right so it creates a fake access point with the same name satvik okay also uh, it performs dauth attack on original network okay okay so what happens is it creates a fake access point and also it performs a de-authentication attack on the original network like let us think i want to attack satvik so first of all it creates a fake access point with the same name satvik so the users doesn't get uh, messed up okay and what happens is so there is uh, an original sat an original network as well but because of this de-auth attack no user can connect to that particular network so what happens here so they'll try to click on this particular or fake access point as well okay so what happens is so when the user tries to connect right when the user connects when the user connects to the fake access point then what happens is there will be a prompt okay uh, so there will be some prompt coming saying that sign into the wi-fi Okay, so this is what happens. So sign into the Wi-Fi. It will be a small prompt. So if you click on that, it will take you to some web app kind of thing, and it asks us for password. Okay, so this is what happens basically. Okay, and now what happens is so as if you know if the if the user of the Perlin network know the password, so he definitely enters. And now what it verifies verifies the hash. Uh, with the password entered so this is what happens it's an easy kind of thing so first of all by the normal ways it captures the handshake and it creates a fake access point and it performs a de-authentication attack so that none connect to that network so if there is if they if you can connect to a network you keep on trying right so with the and also the access point will be of same name of satvik itself okay so that is an issue here so when the user tries to connect to it then uh, what happens is it will uh, prompt a sign in kind of thing like a sign in kind of pop-up and if they clicks on that uh, what happens basically is it asks for the password and it verifies the hash with the password entered okay so guys this is a bit complex task because like uh, we can do this manually so there is a tool called as 
air get on so this is a popular wi-fi pen testing framework and uh, you can use this for doing normal wi-fi attacks as well as well as with the help of this you can do the evil twin attacks easily as well so first of all what you need to do is make sure you have your wi-fi adapter attached so let me uh, open my terminal here and let me enlarge it a little bit so you can see i have connected my uh, wi-fi card uh, which supports the pen uh, monitor mode here and also that is the prerequisite guys for wi-fi pen testing module make sure you have a, a wi-fi card uh, which helps in enabling monitor mode as well okay so installation is pretty pretty simple so apt uh, install so air get on you can see okay so this is how it happens okay so if you hit that it will install so if you do if you don't have it on your device you can do that and uh, launching it is even simple since i am root i'm not using sudo but if you are a normal user on any kali linux or any other operating system make sure you add sudo so i'll start my uh, tool here air get on and let me hit enter here so what happens first of all is so let me uh zoom like zoom out a little bit you can see uh, it detects some stuff like it checks whether all the tools that are necessary or not and here guys there will be some issues as well like you can see there might not be okay there so if there is nothing if there is no okay something like that so what you need to do is you can copy some of them here like you can copy you can open a new tab so you can simply do apt uh, install and you can paste that okay so that's it that is the thing you need to do like uh, this is an issue most users face okay like some of them might not be available so since i am having all these are okay means all are available all frameworks are available i can go ahead right so let me hit enter since all are available here so you can see now it is asking me to select for the interface so i'm choosing a bland zero interface uh, which is uh ethros ar927 chipset and it supports monitor mode so let me type my option or the number and let me hit enter so now guys you can see some various attacks like you can see uh, you can put an uh, interface in the monitor mode managed mode anything like that so first of all you need to put your interface in the monitor mode so let me hit uh, two here and let me hit enter so it is the basic thing you need to do okay it is the basic thing you need to do because without monitor mode you can do any kinds of this stuff so right now we had placed our interface in the mo monitor mode and now from here you can see that there is some attack menus here but the one which uh, look for uh, which we are looking forward is evil twin attacks menu so let me select option 7 and also guys you can test these other options as well so these are basic kind of thing so you can simply hit enter after selecting the option so now guys you can see that you can see uh, uh, there are some various options as well okay so most of the times uh, this five would be sufficient but if you even want to sniff on that particular network you can select these options as well right uh, but what uh, mostly i prefer is evil twin attack uh, evil twin ap attack with a captive portal so this is the best thing because so once the users try to connect to that captive portal so captive portal in the sense the pop-up that comes over and if they uh, uh, put there then what happens is all the passwords we can sniff all the passwords so let me hit nine and all these uh, things are like they just create an, a fake access point and by luck if someone connects to that you can try to do some various attacks on them but uh, we'll use this particular nine option here let me hit enter and let me hit enter once again now you can see wpa wpa to filter in enable scan when uh, started control c like once it started scanning so once you find out all the networks that you want to test for like uh, if you find out all the networks then uh, you can hit control c so that it will stop so let me hit enter here so you can see i got a small portal here guys uh, so it is uh, you can see the tab named as exploring for target so once you find your target so i'm targeting on my uh uh, on my own network itself okay so once you find out your thing so you can simply simply do control c here and now you can find out all this stuff so now what i'm targeting is this particular thing the sattvic named wi-fi so i'm going to select choose my option 7 let me hit enter and uh, you can see some various de-authentication methods as well so i'll choose airplay uh, attack so i had already mentioned that how to can like in the uh, manual wi-fi pen testing method uh, in the video i had mentioned everything clearly so if you don't know do check that out i link uh, i'll leave that in the cards okay so i'll choose the t authentication via airplay because it is much more reliable so let me hit two and let me hint, hit enter so dos pursuit mode no i'll go with no 
do you want to spoof your mac address i'll know you can if you want so if you already have a captured handshake like uh, if you already have the hash so it doesn't perform capture in the handshake process okay so that is the thing here but if you have already you can hit y uh, if no you can hit no capital n so uh, type the value in seconds for the timeout okay, so let me hit enter by default uh, 20 seconds is fine so let me hit enter now so now what happens is it is performing a de-authentication attack and uh, my wi-fi i can connect to a wi-fi on my device so you can see uh, you can see a, a wpa handshake is captured here you can see a wpa handshake is captured here so let us wait for some time so uh, after capturing the handshake you can see that or you can hit uh, enter once again so there is some issue guys uh, i'll do that once again So now uh, you can see that uh, you can find a ha handshake here like the terminal just disappeared and you can see the congratulations we found the cap file. So this particular cap file is the handshake so which consists of the hash and uh, let me hit enter so like uh, it will save in the normal way like it is the default way you can choose that or you can name that anything as well. Okay so once again I'll hit enter here and let me hit enter as well like this uh, saves the passwords and stuff okay so once it is uh, valid you can simply hit enter once again like you can simply read them now what happens is the cap2 portal so you need to choose the language for the cap2 portal so like uh, if you are in different european countries you can choose different thing uh, russia russian russian but i'll choose one here let me hit enter and let me hit enter once again uh, So let us wait for some time uh, because you can see some few portals opening up so what happens right now is as i told you uh, it creates a fake access point and uh, we are only able to connect to that fake access point not to the original wi-fi and then it will throw, uh, throw me a small prompt and uh, it is done here okay so if you can see there is if uh, there is two networks here satvik as well as a small uh, capital satvik like this is a, an, a password protected and this is not a password protected but i'm not going to do that on my laptop i'll do that on my mobile phone so since i'm trying to connect to the satvik the original network i was unable to connect and there is some other network with the same name but it is doesn't require any password like for normal user it is hard to identify okay so let me hit on that so once i connect to that you can see there are some changes like uh, which connected to that okay so you can see there is a device connected and you can also see the timeout and the web server is as well so once what happens is so it will ask me like something like this sign into the wi-fi network okay so if possible i'll post the screenshots as well okay so uh, that, that that is uh, that is how it happens so when i click on that pop up on my mobile phone mostly so it will throw me some uh, ki website kind of thing so which asks me for the password so i'll enter the password and uh, i'll hit submit here so it is like a page it's like a simple web page so you can see uh, you can see the password has been captured successfully and the password is password one so this is the password that i had entered like this is not this doesn't only works for weak passwords guys if the password is even strong see what happens is here the user uh willingly entering the password like we are not robbing from him like he is willing he is willingly giving like a fund okay so that is the thing so let me uh, hit enter here So now you can see uh, interfaces and stuff and uh, in that same portal you can see we had got the password as well and also uh, if you go to this particular page like uh, this is uh, this is the text file 
so this is like a log guys if you can see uh, while entering the stuff you can see it is air get down cap2 portal it is the mac address of my wi-fi network name password and stuff so guys this is how mostly uh, this evil twin attacks work so and also guys make sure you uh, check out these kinds of attacks responsibly okay and don't try to harm anyone or any others and also guys uh, this is everything regarding this evil twin attacks and if you really like this video make sure you mention and if you are having any suggestions uh, make sure you uh, comment uh, make sure you enter the the things that you are finding difficulty or any suggestions in the uh, google docs or the google link that i provide google forms link in the description below and uh, that is it guys for today